You've likely seen CCTV images like this, looking extremely grainy and poor quality and wondered why in the 21st century are we not able to get a decent looking image from CCTV. Perhaps robbers and burglars would be more likely to get caught if the CCTV image of them breaking in didn't look like it was recorded on a 2004 flip phone. In this video, we're going to look at why CCTV is still such bad quality. Please do subscribe if you haven't already, it really helps this small channel grow. Let's start with the obvious reason, and that is the old cameras from the 90s or even earlier are still in use in some places today, which provide a very low resolution image. These may be seen in small businesses that don't have the budget for a state-of-the-art security system. Next, let's talk about storage space. For the recording to be useful, it needs to be saved. If your CCTV camera was shooting video at 4K, something which we'd consider a very good quality image, it would take up around 22 gigabytes of storage space per hour. Storage space needs to be paid for, whether it's on a hard drive you keep yourself or on a server. Keep in mind that many CCTV cameras record video 24 hours a day, so that adds up to around 528 gig of storage space needed per day. If you're paying $50 for a one terabyte hard drive for your camera, you'll need to buy a new one every two days. Now imagine you're running four or more of these cameras and the cost becomes over $100 per day for video storage, completely unaffordable to a small corner shop or independent pub. However, if the camera is recording at 720p, this will use around 900 megabytes per hour or 20 gig of storage per day. If we're assuming you're paying $50 per one terabyte hard drive, this would last you around 50 days compared to the two days it would last you if you were using one camera shooting at 4K. You can clearly see why a business might opt for low resolution cameras over a higher quality image. Another cause of poor CCTV image is compression. Many cameras will compress recorded video files themselves to save on space. When a file is compressed, the amount of data in the file is reduced. There are many different methods of compression, which we'll look at in a further video, but it works in the same way as when you upload a high quality image to a social media platform like Instagram and then notice that it's not quite as high quality as the original. This is because the data you uploaded in the form of an image has been compressed or reduced in data size by Instagram to save on space and this has resulted in a lower quality image. The same is done by CCTV cameras automatically in some cases. Finally, let's consider environmental factors. CCTV cameras are often placed outside where they may remain for years. Extreme weather conditions, dust and other environmental factors can damage the lens or housing, impacting image quality. They may also not be maintained or cleaned regularly due to budget restrictions or being in hard to reach places. Would you prioritise camera quality over price when choosing a CCTV system? And what do you think is an acceptable resolution for CCTV to record at? Please do subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.